On Friday, President Biden signed an executive order relating to working conditions for the federal workforce. I will read to you the executive order as follows. Executive Order on Protecting the Federal Workforce By the authority vested in me as President by the Constitution and the laws of the United States of America, it is hereby ordered as follows. Section 1. Policy Career civil servants are the backbone of the federal workforce, providing the expertise and experience necessary for the critical functioning of the federal government. It is the policy of the United States to protect, empower, and rebuild the career federal workforce. It is also the policy of the United States to encourage union organizing and collective bargaining. The federal government should serve as a model employer. Section 2. Revocation of Schedule F. A. The creation of a new Schedule F accepted servants service category in Executive Order 13957 of October 21, 2020, creating Schedule F in the accepted service, not only was unnecessary to the conditions of good administration, but also undermined the foundations of the civil service and its merit system principles, which were essential to the Pendleton Civil Service Reform Act of 1883's repudiation of the spoils system. Accordingly, to enhance the efficiency of the civil service and to promote good administration and systematic application of merit system principles, Executive Order 13957 is hereby revoked. B. The heads of all executive departments and agencies shall, consistent with law, immediately suspend, revise, or rescind proposed actions, decisions, petitions, rules, regulations, or other guidance pursuant to or to effectuate Executive Order 13957. The Director of the Office of Personnel Management shall immediately cease pro processing or granting any petitions that seek to convert positions to Schedule F or to create new positions in Schedule F. Section 3. Revocation of Certain Presidential and Regulatory Actions A. Executive Order 13836 of May 25, 2018, Developing Efficient, Effective, and Cost-Reducing Approaches to Federal Sector Collective Bargaining, is hereby revoked. The Interagency Labor Relations Working Group is hereby disbanded, and the Director of OPM shall withdraw all materials issued by this working group that are inconsistent with the policy set forth in Section 1 of this order. B. Executive Order 13837 of May 25, 2018, ensuring transparency, accountability, and efficiency in taxpayer-funded union time use is hereby revoked. C. Executive Order 13839 of May 25, 2018, promoting accountability and streamlining removal procedures consistent with merit system principles is hereby revoked. D. The Presidential Memorandum of October 11, 2019, Executive Orders 13836, 13837, and 13839 is hereby revoked. E. The heads of agencies whose practices were covered by Executive Orders 13836, 13837, and 13839 affected agencies shall review and identify existing agency actions related to or arising from those orders. Such, such actions include 1. Actions related to the authorization of union time described in sections 4B and 5B of Executive Order 13837. 2. Actions related to the system for monitoring the use of union time described in section 5C of Executive Order 13837. 3. Guidance promulgated, promulgated pursuant to section 7D of Executive Order 13837. 4. Actions taken pursuant to Section 8 of Executive Order 13837. 5. Revisions to discipline and unacceptable performance policies, including ones codified in bargaining agreements issued pursuant to Section 7B of Executive Order 13839. And the final rule entitled Probation on Initial Appointment to a Competitive Position, Performance-Based Reduction in Grade and Removal Actions and Adverse Actions, 85 Federal Register 65940, October 16th, 2020. F. The heads of effective of the heads of affected agencies shall, as soon as practicable, suspend, revise, or rescind, or publish for notice and comment proposed rules suspending, revising, or rescinding the actions identified in the review described in subsection E of this section as appropriate and consistent with applicable law and the policy set forth in section one of this order. Section 4. Ensuring the right to engage in collective bargaining. 
the head of each agency subject to the provisions of Chapter 71 of Title V United States Code shall elect to negotiate over the subject set forth in 5 U.S. Code 7106B1 and shall instruct subordinate officials to do the same. Section 5. Progress toward a living wage for federal employees. The director of OPM shall provide a report to the president with recommendations to promote a $15 an hour minimum wage for federal employees. Section 6. Severability. If any provision of this order or the application of such provision to any person or circumstance is held to be invalid, the remainder of this order and the application of such provisions to other persons or circumstances shall not be affected thereby. Section 7. General Provisions. A. Nothing in this order shall be construed to impair or otherwise affect 1. The authority granted by law to an executive department or agency or the head thereof, or 2. The functions of the director of the Office of Management and Budget relating to budgetary, administrative, or legislative proposals. B. This order shall be implemented consistent with applicable law and subject to the availability of appropriations. C. This order is not intended to and does not create any right or benefit, substantive or procedural, enforceable at law or in equity by any party against the United States, its departments, agencies, or entities, its officers, employees, or agents, or any other person. Joseph R. Biden, The White House, January 22, 2021.